what's going on you guys thought I would do it live here um, it's day 86 and I thought that this here sign I don't know if you can see it um, comes through backwards it looks like but it says um, it says day 85 or it doesn't, it doesn't say day 85 it says 85 on it and uh, it says Moffat County, Moffat County, Highway 85. Um, it's sort of cool for a couple things, uh, a couple reasons. Yesterday was day 85 of our walk across America. Took us longer than anticipated to get this far for sure. Um, we're just over a thousand miles into our walk, which is exciting. Uh, last I checked, we're 1,029, probably about 1,030 as of right now, um, which puts us very close to being one third of the way across the United States as a team. We've started doing pretty much daily relays where some of you have sort of been confused about how we're moving so much faster the last week or so. Um, and we're gonna start moving a lot faster here once we get, once we get on a, a regular schedule and once we start staying close to where we leave off every day. But, um, what it is, is the way we start is uh, I'll start, I'll drive James, or I'll, uh, we'll, we'll drive to our starting location, right? Where we leave off the day before. I'll drop James off or James will drop me off. And then one of us will drive up three or four miles, park the car, and then start walking from there in an eastwardly direction towards Washington, DC. And then the other of us will walk up Say I drop James off at first. James will then walk from the beginning. He'll walk to the car. He'll pick up the car. He'll drive to where I am, to where I leave off, which is usually about three or four miles. And then he'll park the car there. He'll keep walking. I'll grab the car. I'll move up three miles and walk from there. And that's pretty much how we've been doing it. Just a pure frog leap, a pure relay this last week or so with Katrina being gone. So, hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if, if that's uh, sensible. But anyway, the the other so so 85 Moffat County 85. It is uh, it's momentous for that reason because yesterday was day 85. Today's day 86. Also, I was born in 1985 in Moffat Hospital, which is sort of cool to see that that uh, sign. As I'm walking across America, it's sort of, this is sort of a rebirth kind of experience, this walk. Um, not to mention, we hope to be done. We hope to do what we did um, this last 85 days. We hope to do in the next two thirds uh, of this walk across America uh, in this colder climate. Um, crazy, many, many of you might think, yes. Uh, but as a relay, as a pure relay, um, some days, and then sort of a mini relay other days where we overlap two or four or six or eight miles. Um, where, for instance, James will walk eight miles that I don't walk, and I'll walk eight miles that he doesn't walk, but we'll walk the rest together. Um, once our support driver's back, we hope to be to Washington, D.C., and ultimately to Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach by uh, mid to late December, early January if necessary. So, yeah, another reason why 85 or 90-ish is um, significant. So, I uh, had a cool experience today. We met Bill and Ann McCracken. Um, it was just sort of, sort of cool to meet them because their last name is McCracken. That's such a freaking legit last name. Um, but, uh, it's, <laughs> it makes me laugh to see the reactions of people driving on the highway as they see us walking. Like, what are these idiots doing? <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. Uh, smelling some skunk. Anyway, um, they were really cool. They hooked us up with water and snack bars and jerky and um, they're big hiking people and fishing people. They're from Nebraska. Hopefully there's a uh, 
place for us in Nebraska to stay. Um, James and I are hoping to camp as little as possible across the United States. So if any of you out there see this, we would love, 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 love to stay with people, um, especially as we get into more populated areas. We'll be checking out couch surfing what, uh, sites and what have you. But hit us up, you guys. Walk for Peace 2020 at gmail.com or Walk for Peace 2020 on Facebook or Instagram. Um, yeah, aside from that, we met this awesome guy, Drew Nielsen. God bless you, Drew. We appreciate you, man. Uh, really cool guy. Hold on. Um, really cool guy. He pulled over yesterday. And he was like, yo. Got to rest my arm here. He was like, man. Um, what are you guys doing? It's late and there is like no one nearby uh, for miles. There's nowhere nearby for miles. You guys are in the middle of nowhere. What the heck are you doing? And we're like, well, I'm walking across, we're walking across America for peace, man. He's like, dude, that's awesome. I have to commend you. Hats off to you, brother. Um, and he's like, it's people like you that change the world. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And I was like, thanks, man. We appreciate it. He offered me a ride a couple times. I'm like, now nah, we're, we're walking. We're walking. Thank you. We have a support vehicle. Um, and then I was like, you should go say hi to my friend James. He's just a couple miles behind me. So Drew went and said hi to James. And then he offered, um, he offered us uh, a place to stay last night. Uh, so we slept. Had a couple extra beds in his home. We slept there in his home. Uh, he hooked us up with some dinner, some elk burger, and and potatoes last night, and then some potatoes and eggs, and and uh, some some cool what were they like? Uh, some kind of venison patties. They were really good. So it was awesome hanging out with Drew. Um, got to meet his dogs. Um, there's some some folks from Peru that live there and work there uh, typically, but they're not there right now because of COVID. So their dogs, they're super cool. Last night while we were trying to sleep, we heard these dogs and um, another bigger sheep dog fighting these coyotes and like barking and just these coyotes are going nuts. And I was, we woke up in the morning. We're like, dude, do you hear all that coyote stuff, man? He's like, yep, it happens every night, every single night, you know, and they're, they're, you know, they're, they have sheep, their sheep get picked off throughout the year. I was like, dude, you ought to sit up on the roof one of these nights and just get some infrared goggles and take out some of these coyotes man when they come around uh he's like yeah there's there's people that do that there's ranchers that do that i'm i just sort of let them do what they do and, and uh you know apparently one coyote is like twice the size of one of those sheep dogs uh except for the big sh white sheep dog and sometimes the sheep dogs get picked off too but um but typically they sort of they help you know, keep these coyotes away from the sheep. Anyway, it was just, it was cool hanging out with, uh, with Drew, super in intelligent, uh, mountain man kind of a guy. Very, very sweet, kind fellow. Uh, thank you, Drew, if you see this, man. We appreciate you. So, uh, video's been long enough at this point. We're getting tons of love, you guys, tons of kindness. Um, once again, the Moral family, they were super awesome. Uh, we appreciate them. Uh, the Bristol family in Vernal. Um, it's cool seeing Jason Winder. God bless you, Jason. We appreciate your uh, your kindness and, and your love. And we love you guys. Uh, we couldn't do this without you. God bless you. Uh, thank you for following our journey and sharing this with your friends. Um, thank you for being awesome. Uh, and remember, what what, uh, what are you doing right now? Find peace. It brings you peace. Love to hear about it. Um, much love. Peace out. God bless you.